Racing one mile, there are no changes in this field of 10. Number one is J.B. Hot Rod, owned by Ike Gabbard Jr. of Waynesville. Dave Miller drives. Number two, Little Red Scooter, owned by John Croner and Bill Lerman of Athens for Charlie Schoonover. Three is Horn Blower, owned by Mike Callier of Tiascal and Bill Long Jr. Four, Commando Express, owned by Ellen Peterson of Buford with Jim Potter. Number five, Gamruit Bluegrass, owned by Lou Overstreet of Henderson, Kentucky, and Mike Wilder. Six, Uncle Will Goddard, owned by Francis Hammond of Omar, Kentucky, and Keith Haynes. Number seven, TDF Baskin, Mark Pointer, the owner, Eric Lentford Drives. Number eight, Jay's Fame, Jeff Fout Driving for owner, Betty Benner. Nine is Going National, owned by David Page of Washington Courthouse with Jeff Smith. And the 10, Sims, Alabama, owned by Ernest P. and Ernest G. Martin. Spencer Adams of Ohio, Scott Mogan in the Vasonki. Moving in. There they go. And they're off. Commando Express stepping away promptly for the lead from the far outside. Going national is circling the entire field and wants the front end. And Root Bluegrass came away third of the inside of fourth as Little Red Scooter. On the rail five to Horn Blower. Angling in the sixth from the outside comes Jay's Fame. Off the rail seventh is JB Hot Rod. Inside eighth, Sims out of M. Ninth along the rail as they reach the first stop. Uncle Will Goddard and the uh, trailer is TDF Baskin. Opening quarter 27 and 4 and going national as taking the lead. Late by length, Commander Express inside is second. Long the rail three, Gimmerit Bluegrass. Now to the outside to fourth, here comes Hornblower. Inside to five, Little Red Scooter. Jay's Fame, into the passing lane is in the cover flow sixth. Followed seventh by heavily favored J.B. Hot Rod. Saving ground eight, that's Uncle Will Goddard as they approach the half. And to the outside, Command of Express has been flushed first up. They're at the half, 58 and two. Going national inside, continues the lead now. Going national by a neck, Command of Express is there pressuring heavily a second. Bluegrass on the inside is third. Outside, second or fourth, it's Horn Blower. And between horses now comes Jay's Fame. Outside with the cover flow, it's J.B. Hot Rod. Field begins to tighten up a bit now, and it's Commando Express on the front end, taking the lead by a length and a half, two. Going national inside is second. At the three quarters, 127 and two, and it's still Commando Express. Now by two and a half, three. Outside a second, Jay's Fame going national. Along the rail is third, and here comes Little Red Scooter and Sims of as they turn for home. Less than an eighth of a mile ago, and down the stretch they come. It's the four, Command of Express, longest shot of the board. Leading the way, inside a second, Jay's Fame outside. Little Red Scooter and Sims of them. Nobody's going to catch the 90 to one shot. Command of Express. And the Knights pick three combination, 614, $2,160.60. That's selecting three of three. Track side now, the official winner of the fourth at 90 to one, paying $189.80 on a $2 win ticket. Number four is Commando Express. He's a foiled Ohio bred son of listening from HM Express. Hope by Ellen Peterson of Buford, Ohio. Jim Potter, the trainer and a driver. His first season start and a new lifetime record one of 58, one fifth. Track side to make the trophy presentation is Mr. Pete Fleming, retired executive director of the Ohio State Racing Commission from the late 1950s to the late 80s, and Cliff Nelson, the exec executive director from 87 to the present. These two men have been in this position for more than four and a half decades. Well, tonight's first race simulcast.